After 10 seasons in the NFL, Bills quarterback Kyle Orton announced his plans to retire. I'm Anthony the Collins with your ESPN headline. And for more on this, we're joined by ESPN Bills reporter Mike Rodak. Mike, how has the team reacted to the news? Well, basically, we were in the locker room this morning when the news came down from the Bills that Orton had announced his retirement. And some players were walking through, and actually we told them, and we broke the news to them. So it wasn't a case of Kyle Orton breaking the news to his teammates in the meeting. Uh, this was very much something that was quiet. Uh, some players were, were surprised by it. Now, a couple players said that he had sort of been dropping hints over the last few weeks, like, oh, this is our, you know, our final go-round at it. Um, but in general, you know, it's something that, uh, that's very much unexpected and caught players by surprise here on Monday morning. Mike, why is he retiring now? Well, Kyle Orton had a uh, similar situation last season, last off season. He was with the Cowboys and uh, basically was uh, not threatening to retire, but, you know, that possibility was floated out last year. And uh, the Cowboys ended up releasing him. And, of course, late uh, after training camp at the end of the preseason, he ended up catching on uh, with the Bills. So at the time, Kyle Orton said that it was, you know, a family situation. He wanted to spend the summer with his family. And uh, in a very brief statement on Monday, he said basically the same thing as far as him retiring uh, from the Bills and that he wants to um, you know, to be with his family more. And he's 32 years old. And uh, after 10 seasons, it's, it's basically time to hang him up. Now let's talk about the Bills quarterback situation, Mike. They benched E.J. Manuel in favor of Orton. It doesn't appear that the coaches consider Manuel the answer in Buffalo. What does this mean for the Bills? Well, you nailed it right there. I don't think the Bills really have... Um, E.J. Manuel in their plans as, as being a starter next season. So what this move does is it, it really eliminates Kyle Lurton as an option next season. And uh, even before this, I, I would say that he wasn't um, a very viable option. I don't think many fans wanted him as the quarterback next season. I think the Bills, even though he went 7-5 and five as a starter this season, uh, were, were pretty skeptical on his, um, his ability to lead this team to the postseason next year. So uh, this really opens up the possibilities for the Bills. I don't think, again, that E.J. Manuel will be the starter. So um, the Bills need to find a way, whether it's a trade or a, um, a second-day draft pick or a signing, um, to, to fill their starting quarterback spot. So naturally that becomes off-season priority number one for the Bills, especially after today's uh, retirement by Orton. Once again, ESPN Bills reporter Mike Gordak with a perspective for the latest NFL news. Make sure to keep it right here on ESPN.com.